Hey guys, this is another day in my life as an online clothing store owner. Okay, so the first thing I do is arrive at my office and get started with the planning, creation, and scheduling of Instagram content. I do this via Canva, Photoshop, and Planoly. If you're not already using Canva, get there for your small business. It is my absolute favorite app right now. So once I'm finished with that, I head over to look at some catalogs and line sheets to look at some giftier items for Christmas time. I'm marking out what we don't want, writing down quantities of what we do. I email those over and get those ordered for immediate shipment. Next, I go back to our warehouse to check for accuracy. I do this once a week where I choose 10 items to make sure we have what we're supposed to have, they're where they're supposed to be, and make sure there are no inconsistencies there that can really damage our shipment process. So then I have an end of day meeting with customer service to check in on how our customer success went that day. And that is my entire day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show you what's inside this parcel. Let me quickly show you why. This is our current disheveled ring light. It was so cheap and nasty. It doesn't even hold the camera. The cord's as long as my finger. Ugh. So we just got a new ring light and not just any ring light, one from a toile. I cannot even express how important it is to have a good ring light after going through hell with our last one. So this is one of their super flexible ring lights, which is exactly what we need to film all our TikTok content, product photography, absolutely everything. So here I am assembling it. The quality of it is absolutely amazing. It's so sturdy and the cord is super long. So when I turned it on, I did not expect the light to literally be that bright. It just kept going. And there are so many settings on this. How is this for a ring light glow up? Honestly, best investment in the world. I'm so happy. I had an email that my customer's boyfriend of two years cheated on her. Unfortunately, she bought a bunch of couple necklaces, but I got her back and we're switching them all. Switched this couple set, this layered dragon set for a boss, a heart with his initial, to a diamond butterfly that represents growth, a poker with his initial, this protection evil eye necklace, hopes with his and her initial, a negativity removing bracelet, and I gifted her with this rose quartz bracelet for confidence, and butterfly ring for transformation for the better. Remember that you're beautiful and you deserve the world. I'm packing an order for the beautiful Laura who has ordered a selenite plate, an aquamarine pendant which has just arrived, and she has also chosen a pirate pendant which is also new. It comes with the information card. And I was drawn to give her a rhodonite tumble stone um, just to give some extra loving vibes to the package. I'm putting it in our new pink hero bags which matches our thank you card and I can't wait for you to receive it. get design inspo from my new swimmer collection part two these new bikinis that i designed are inspired by all things florida keys even my color inspo is inspired by the keys this key largo bikini comes with padding the bottoms are one of my cheekier styles but it's great for tanning this is the isla Mirada bikini it's ruched in the front and the back and the bottoms are mid-rise with a ruche in the back i'm totally obsessed the Key West bikini is perfect for bigger cup sizes. It has underwire for support and high-waisted full coverage bottoms with seam details. Slightly obsessed with this print. I got a DM from Rebecca ordering a crew neck and a pair of socks because she found me on TikTok, so I wanted to film the process of making her order. First, we have a dark green crew neck, so I folded it, rubber banded it, mixed the dye, and here I am applying the color. Then I did the same process for the socks, which were dark gray. 24 hours later, I take the rubber bands off and I rinse out the dye. Then I wash and dry the items. And here's the final product. I hope you love your new items, Rebecca. She came up with this really, really good idea. And I was like, yo, that's dope. You should do it. And she was like, I can't. I just looked on Instagram and saw that they already have it. I said, so why can't you do it? She was like, because it's already on Instagram. Somebody already did it. I said, okay, so why can't you do it? She said, because somebody already did it. I said, didn't Rihanna create Fenty like there wasn't Mac? Did she not create Savage Fenty like we didn't have Victoria's Secret and other lingerie stores? How many McDonald's and Burger Kings are across from each other like they don't sell the same food? How many beauty supplies are selling the same bundle on the same block? Okay, the market is oversaturated, but it don't have a you, baby. Like if God gave you the gift, your gift gonna pop differently from theirs. Everything you touch prospers, so if they did it first, Here's some mistakes you might be making on TikTok as a small business. Posting at the wrong times. There are times marked with higher levels of engagement. Making videos that are way longer than 15 seconds. Not using trending hashtags and sounds. Follow for more small business tips. 
You need something to be excited about when you wake up in the morning and something that you're doing that has has a purpose. And if you do something that you love and you have this amazing energy behind it, it's like it makes life so much better. And you can develop something and create a career for yourself out of something that you love.